waiting for James to finish getting ready, so I thought I'd start the vlog officially, but hello guys welcome to the van life vlog which is so exciting to say and i cannot believe we're doing it it's so exciting so this is our little van we've called him jeff um he's a seven foot sprinter i'll give you a little tour at some point okay checking in to give you a little van tour i'm actually filming this as we're about to give it back but you're going to be seeing this when we've just got it so this is our seven meter sprinter van tour um it's been the best home possible for a van it's the perfect size for both of us james is quite tall and he has been hitting his head a bit but other than that we've been living beautifully in here so obviously first things first you've got the cab so this is like an automatic van it's actually quite modern to be fair like it's really easy to drive you've got sat nav and stuff um really roomy as you can see for two people and this has been great for like storing all our luggage in when we've been like parked up somewhere because we can just chuck it all out the way and live um as you can see behind me this is where we've been storing our luggage when we are driving so we've got hand luggage and suitcases and stuff tucked away really nicely we just haven't used this area at all to be fair then when you come this way we've got our little kitchen and bathroom i'll show you the bathroom first so I kind of picked this van purely because it had a shower and a toilet because I think that's an essential, especially when we were going to like wild camp and stuff. So in here, you've just got a little shower head that's adjustable and a toilet. The toilet is like emptyable, so we've had to like use dump points and stuff, which are really easy to get to at campsites. Um, and the shower obviously is just a shower. You do have to fill up the water on the van, so we've been a bit more sparing. And then this is our kitchen area. So we've got a cupboard down here, which has all of our like pots and pans and whatever in there. Then we've got a cupboard up here that we've been using for food. So we've got a couple of bits in there that we haven't got rid of yet because we want to carry on eating bits. Range hood. Um, and this is the oven, which is just like a little three point hob situation. Great for cooking in. Although I will say we've had to be very like methodical in how we've cooked because we've used the whole space for like prepping stuff and then obviously just made it work. Little sink, microwave, haven't used it once. Um, fridge down here as well and some more storage. And then this is like our general living area. So this table comes off completely for sleeping and it also like can be adjustable and stuff for eating. We kind of just kept it here for the most part because it's an extra bit of kitchen. Um, this is like two little benches that fold really nicely into a big bed. So you basically just like rearrange it all and pull it out and stuff. Really comfortable actually, a lot more comfortable than I thought it would be. Windows and stuff on each side obviously. And then we've got an air conditioner up here, which has been so handy for when it's been really hot on the Gold Coast and like up the northern part. But when we've been down Sydney way, it was a bit colder, so we've used the heating. Um, cupboards up here, which are good for like just storing all of our clothes and stuff. We basically had a side each and it fit more than enough, didn't it? Like all our stuff fit really easily. We did also have a TV. We used it maybe like three or four times. Um, it, it needed a HDMI to work. It wasn't the best thing ever. It is quite an old TV, but it was good enough to watch some bits every now and then. Um, but yeah, that's basically our van. So I'm gonna show you what we got up to for the last 11 days. <laughs> Yeah, very excited to have it. It's literally my dream. I've always wanted to do this and um, we're on day one officially. So we've been parked up for the night, um, drove all, well, we drove for like three hours to get here yesterday to Blue Mountains, parked up at Blackheath Glen um, Caravan Park, like ho holiday park, tourist park, I don't know what to call it, but really nice place to stay. We get an ensuite bathroom, which is just here, power outlets, water and everything. So we've been kind of like using both bathrooms, but James is also using this one because this one is quite small and he's quite a tall human being and he can stand up in the van, so he's fine. But um, they said that we could probably park our caravan where we're going but they said the height might be an issue so we thought you know what it's quite a tall van like okay i've just told you james's height and look at the height of him compared to the van so um we thought we're not going to risk it we're just going to get a taxi which has probably been waiting like 15 minutes so we need to hurry up james <laughs> getting a taxi up which was about 50 50 dollars which is like 25 ish pounds so um a little bit expensive but we thought it's way less hassle to do that than try and lug this whole caravan up there bring it back down and all that stuff so we're just gonna get a taxi go to um seven sisters uh, go to three sisters which is like the viewpoint of the mountains um like various bits and pieces so it'd be very nice but yeah we're gonna get on the way okay so we've come up to scenic world which we don't have to do when you come here but we were recommended and it's like 118 dollars for two of us and it's like the highest railway in the world and stuff so it's pretty cool so can you show you Be more beautiful, but yeah, it's so stunning. So, when you come across. 
across the Skyway. You can basically do a walk around to like the Three Sisters and all these other parts like the Catacomb Falls and stuff. And um, it says it's like 45 minutes to an hour, but it's only a kilometre, so I don't think it is that long. I think it's just because it's stairs and stuff, so they cater for like everyone's abilities, but um, it's definitely not that long. I'll let you know exactly how long it took us when we get there. Might eat my words, but um, it's a really cool little walk all the way around the mountains. And um, the Blue Mountains are just so stunning. Like the way it's all just blue because of the gum off the trees and stuff, like it just looks so beautiful. Also, I don't know if I've mentioned, but um, the tickets in were $59 each. I think because we've come on a weekend and it's like peak time. But that worked out for £118 for both of us. Worked out as roughly like £60 something. So it wasn't too expensive. It's like £30 each, which is quite affordable to see all of this. Um, 25 minutes is all it took. Definitely not 45 to an hour. We've just come down the scenic railway, which is like the steepest railway in the world, he said, didn't he? In Australia. In Australia? Uh, I don't know. Anyway, it was a steep railway. It was very, very steep, actually. Like, as soon as it started, you kind of, like, fell forward in your seat. Um, but it was cool. Really good to see. And then we're going to take the cable car back up. So there's three ways to get around here. So you've got the cable car, you've got the one that goes across, which we did first, and then you've got this one. So, yeah, I'm going to do all three. And then see nothing. <laughs> but I feel like we've seen enough. Like, it's very, very, very worth the 30 odd pounds that we spent per person um, and I would definitely say if you're going to come to the Blue Mountains this is the way to do it. There is like all the other ways you can go where you can go like off on your own and like hike and stuff but if you want to see like the main bits I think this is a really good way to do it. We're back in our little van and ready to make some dinner because we are starving so we actually didn't leave until about 12 to go to the um, scenic world in the blue mountains we're still in the blue mountains but to like technically the blue mountains so we only actually were at the house for about five hours just got back and i think it's like half five but we're so hungry we're gonna make dinner now so james actually bought himself some kangaroo burgers because he really wanted to try them so he's gonna have kangaroo burgers apparently they're really really good and they're a good source of protein and iron supposedly i i don't even everyone i know that has ever said they've tried one has said they're really good Mm. so i think you're gonna love it because you've never ever tried it have you mm. and then i just got impossible burgers for me but we're gonna have those we also bought a family pack of tim tams because the family pack was 80p more expensive no 70p more expensive than buying the normal size pack so we just bought the family pack that can last us and then we can just snack they're gonna go tonight aren't tonight. they they're gonna go tonight we'll try and make them last a bit longer but i thought i'd put you on a little time lapse and you can watch me cook the same way i do at home but in our van James is cooking all nicely, mine are, yeah. <laughs> we've also, um, we've only got bread to use as a bun for these burgers because we didn't want to buy buns and then have loads of bread left over, like we just don't want to waste food. So, <sighs> eventful first dinner. Do you want a Tim Tam? No. You don't? No. Thank you. If you haven't ever had a Tim Tam, they are the best thing ever. I really want to try the white ones. They do like all different ones, but they're so good. They kind of remind me of like penguin bars, but better. I mean, it's basically a burger sandwich, but um... it's fine. It's our first night properly cooking in here. Last night we had like <laughs> just instant noodles because it was quick and easy. We've also got things for pasta, for heaters, etc. This was just like our quick and easy, we're starving and need something to eat ASAP kind of meal. But I'll give you an update on James's kangaroo burgers in a minute when he's tried them because do you think you're gonna like them? What do you think? Yeah. You think you're gonna love them? What are you expecting from it? I'm not different to a beef. Of course we bought the mini bum bum cream because this is the best thing ever. So I basically decanted, this is like the travel size one, I'll leave it linked, but I also have the big version. And I've basically just like decanted as much as possible into here. And I've been using this while we're away because 
this is so much easier to pack than a big one and it's lasted me really well so i'm just going to moisturize my legs because i'm wearing this cute little set you can't even see it past the mirror but cute little shorts and shirt with my bodysuit little bit cold not gonna lie like as you can tell the sun is not out but it's okay i'm not even in focus there's too much going on that the camera doesn't even know where my face is but we're gonna go with it this is going on and then we've got a long drive to port Maccabi. Port Macquabi, Port Macquabi, Macquab, Macquab. We're not actually sure who you say it, but that one. Good official morning from the van. It feels so good to be saying that. Like, honestly, the convenience of having this van is just elite. Like, knowing we can travel anywhere we want in this, park it up obviously on campsites and stuff but you can find like other parking and stuff as well but like just the freedom to be able to go wherever we don't have to keep repacking our suitcase we don't have to lug our suitcases around we don't have to find ubers like our toilets on board our showers on board we've got all our food like we're literally like a moving home and it's so much more convenient i think um and it's also quite nice to just be parked up in different places every night and just have the freedom to go wherever like it's just so nice so today we're doing a big drive up to port macquarie which is about five hours from here so we did two hours out of sydney to get to blue mountains and then it's five hours up takes us majority of the way towards brisbane so i think then we're like just over halfway but we just thought that would be our first stop then we're going to do coffs harbour byron bay gold coast the camera died but we're back so as i was saying um we wanted to get as far up the coast as we could and then kind of start from there because there is other places we want to see on the way up but like i said before we've got 11 days with this van we have like limited time and we want to see as much as we possibly can so we're going quite far up and then we're going to stop off quite a few times on the way up i think first stop is port macquarie um average price per night of like campsites and stuff we've found has been like this one was 55 Aussie dollars, which came to about 27 pounds a night. And that was for a powered spot with an ensuite, which we didn't actually ask for. We just called up and said, have you got a powered spot? And this is this is what we ended up with. So this was 55 and the one that we're going to was 50, but all the other ones seem to be roughly around the same. If you want unpowered, then it's less. But the thing is with unpowered, you obviously don't have like the ability to plug in to get like water and power so you can do it but we were advised not to do it for like more than one slash two nights because the power that we've got on board with minimal usage will last us like 48 hours so we just thought do you know what let's just let's just see how it goes so we might do like one or two wild camping which is where you just park somewhere for free you can't do it anywhere because it is illegal to just park up anywhere but there's certain places where it's like council run where you are allowed to just park in a certain place um and stay the night for free so i think we're going to do a couple of those but yeah we're going to get on the road we've got a nice five hour drive ahead of us i'm going to go check all the cupboard doors are shut because i can see that one is not shut and then we're going to get going are you excited for the next part of the adventure Woo. Woo Literally huge, but I don't think you can tell how far back it goes from this. Like it's so big. 
um, but yeah, Portable choir. The choir? The quarry. The quarry. <laughs> I'm just, I'm gonna stop saying where we're going. I'm just gonna, we're gonna leave it there. But we're doing one night there and then we've just booked two nights in Coffs Harbour. And if you are planning on doing a van up the East Coast, I will leave um, everywhere that we've stayed down in the description box so that if you wanted to get any of the details, you can. Um, I'll put like the websites and stuff on there. But we have tried to stay at like, not necessarily budget places, but we've tried to stay at places which are good location, like powered, um, etc. Because we looked at unpowered, and unpowered at some of these is only like $10 less, which is like a fiver. And we just thought for the sake of five pounds, we'd rather have power than be like conserving it a little bit. So um, yeah, we just thought that was easier to skip. But um, I need to stop saying the wrong name. What's it, Port? <laughs> Macquarie. You said Macquarie. <laughs> Poor Macquarie. I genuinely, I think I'm so hyper fixated on getting it wrong now that I get it wrong. So I'm just, that's where we're going. Guys, this fire alarm is driving us insane. So we're going along and I've just had to literally fling myself down the back of the bus to quickly grab it because it started going off for no reason. I genuinely thought there was something wrong with the car and I thought we had like a flat tire or like something was going wrong. No, it's a blooming smoke alarm again. That's if you want to go back on yourself. Do you want to go back or do you want to just keep going on this road? I don't know. I mean, it's still we're going to see then. No, it does go right along the coast. It goes right along the coast and you can go. It is very bumpy. But anyway, as I was saying, we just had a bit of a distraction because we don't know if we're going the right way. It's so noisy, I'm so sorry. I might end up having to cut these out, but we slash James saw a sign that said if you go on like route six, it's like a tourist way and it basically takes you down roads that are called is it the lakes? The lakes something. saw a sign that said tourist route so we took that it was just literally on the side of the road and we followed it and it basically goes like parallel to the pacific highway but in like a more touristic way so we get close to the water and like close to the beaches and stuff it's a bit more beautiful so we've decided to go that way it's a little bit noisier because the roads aren't as good but so far so good it's very very green um it's just very very noisy so i hope you can actually hear me and apparently there's feral deer so we might see a feral deer. If there was feral kangaroo, I'd rather, because then I need to look at kangaroo. I want to see at least one wild kangaroo while we're here, but I don't know where they mainly are. I'm assuming they're mainly inland, no? We'll soon find out. been driving for probably about three hours do you think yeah three and a half and we stumbled across the bit that i said to you so we went on the lakes way which is like the tourist route versus like the pacific highway because this is just a lot more scenic takes a little bit longer i think it added like 30 minutes to our journey but it just looked so stunning that we thought we had to go that way and the whole way along you could see on the maps that like the lakes were next to us but you couldn't see through and then like sometimes you could and it was beautiful but there was nowhere to stop and we've just stumbled across a little reserve point called Bramble's Reserve <clears throat> and you basically pull in, there's a little car park and the most stunning viewpoint ever, like literally beautiful and it's so quiet, there's only two other people here, it's just silent and it's so nice to just sit and look out over the really calm water if it was a sunny day it would be divine but it's still beautiful even though it's a bit cloudy and it's the perfect place to just stop off and like admire the view 
really really beautiful i do kind of wish that we'd got here a little bit earlier and we could have like stopped opened the doors had some lunch with the view etc but um we're gonna keep driving because the rest of the lakes way up looks equally as stunning and it looks like you go along a really nice bit where it's like the sea either side of you or like a lake and then the sea so i think it's gonna be beautiful but i highly recommend if you do a van trip to go off the beaten track and like just be prepared to do a few detours be prepared to like just find cool little bits because we would never have found this if we stayed on the pacific highway and it's just silent and it's so beautiful and you loved it didn't you apart mm. from i kept ruining your videos by talking yes <laughs> Did you want to see the, the map? oh yeah okay so this is kind of like i don't know if you can see this very well so we're here but the lakes way goes up and then across this bit here and like carries on going up i don't know if it's focusing on the map or me but yeah you basically come up across like this little bit and go all the way up here which is gonna be epic which is like a tim tam thank you i'm gonna miss these when we go home we finally got here when the sun was going down did our washing which is what's hanging up over here and um i've cooked us a pretty good looking pasta but a little bit too much food so we've actually ended up with uh, another whole portion's worth but it's fine we're gonna enjoy it and i'm so excited to eat we didn't really get lunch today because we were driving the whole way through and we just didn't stop like we stopped but we didn't stop for food because it was just mcdonald's and we didn't really want that so um yeah like the doors open and it's just stunning like we've literally just got a view of the beach and it's so nice to be cooking with this view the only thing is we can't work out how to turn the power on without the bus being like connected to a power point but we know there's a way because she said that we can last like two days without being like plugged in so we're just trying to work out how we do it because it would be ideal if we can like actually use the power but we're going to try and see what we can do if not doesn't really matter we're just having like avocado on toast anyway but yeah such a good little spot i'm so obsessed I, this is this is like my dream van life pulled up on the side of the beach we're having some breakfast we've been at the campsite we've had a shower in here like it's just heaven and i said to james yesterday we backed up onto this like beautiful view of the lake and i was like this is literally my like this is what i had on my vision board and i said it was the craziest thing ever because i had a van pulled up on a beach on my vision board for so long and i was like one day it'll happen one day it'll happen like it'll happen it'll happen and then i turned around to james and i was like oh my god like literally three weeks before we got here we completely changed our entire trip and ended up booking the van and now like here we are in a van doing van life and it's so mental like so crazy i've also just realized my eyebrows look very 1k but we're gonna go with it today because i can't be bothered to redo them to be honest i did them like in a swinging mirror in the van so
would you say like, it was less than five minutes to the beach wasn't it easily like two three minutes and we walked along Flynn Beach over the rocks to Nobby's Beach and then there was like a cute little coffee shop called I want to say it was called like Ah, oh, something I can't remember what it was called but it was really nice um it was just like on the little parade of shops but really really nice morning we just went along the beach had a great time came back to the van quickly showered and got changed and then headed literally back to the beach which is where you saw the last couple of clips where we were just like sat in the van just watching the view and stuff and we had breakfast and everything really nice um for now we are off to Kopsava and hopefully gonna get there by like half two unless we do a detour again which we probably will and we're going to try and set the van up, sort everything out, and then go for a little walk or something and like see Cobb's Harbour a bit. But because we've got all day tomorrow, we don't need to like rush it per se. Like, we can kind of just relax a little bit, um, which is quite nice. Oh, tourist drive to use next exit. Should we do that? Yeah. We need to make sure we're going in the right direction though, because there's two. So that makes me think one might go left and one might go right. It's 12 to 14. What does that mean? Like junction 12 to junction 14. Oh, I, it looks it says drives plural. I mean, let's let's try it, see what happens. Let's see where we end up. I just realised I've got the bin bag on my chair as well. We'll see. <laughs> I've outdone myself tonight with this one. I've got fajitas, so I've got a tofu one, James has got chicken, and then we managed to find like salsa, vegan cheese and stuff. And then I've seen loads of people rave about this before. It's mingle um, everything bagel seasoning. And I've seen so many people hype it, so we thought we'd get our hands on it and just see what it's like. If it's good, it's coming home. But I realised I've not actually updated <laughs> this bit of hair. I've got my hair like awkwardly tied on top of my head to try and get it out of the way, but not to like make it creased. Um, not creased, I mean, it kinked, whatever. But <laughs> I realised I haven't updated you since we nearly did our detour and we did do the detour. The detour wasn't the best. Like the one thing we found is if you do the tourist ones, sometimes they pay off and you get like a really amazing view and like it's amazing. And sometimes it's just like really pretty views. But there's no like stop off that's like looking over a lake or the sea or anything. But sometimes it does look like you're going to get that and then you don't. And then sometimes it doesn't look like you're going to get that and then you do. So that's the only thing I will say. They do take a little bit longer of your journey sometimes it's worth it so we did one today didn't pay off but it was still really pretty to see it all and we went past like a banana farm and stuff that was really cool and then we ended up getting here at what like four half four or something something like that wasn't it went for a little look around so we're staying at big four park beach i think it's called i'll leave them linked like i said but um this one's more of like a holiday it's giving like butlins but here basically but that's fine we're here for it so there's like a camp kitchen there's like kids play areas swimming pools and all that kind of thing but yeah we basically they asked if you're like a young couple old couple family etc and we said we were a young couple and we've been put on like a plot with like people that are on their own like young couples old couples etc so they've kind of kept us away from the kids which is quite nice <laughs> Good morning guys from the iPhone. I've left the camera in the van and we came out for a little walk slash meant to be a run, second morning in a row that we've said we'd go for a run and haven't. But um, we're just having a wander around and going to, James is now running alongside me to try and make a point. <laughs> but we're gonna head down to the Coffs Harbour Marina. So if you remember I said yesterday, um, we're in Coffs Harbour for two nights. We've got a full day here today and then we're setting off nice and early tomorrow to head to Byron Bay. But um, we're just heading over to see if we can find the marina to see like the actual like harbour but we stopped at a really nice place for breakfast this morning called supply I'm not gonna lie wasn't the biggest fan of the coffee but the food was really really good so definitely recommend going for that although i'm quite a, a funny one with coffee like i hate when it's really bitter so some people would probably love it but i just found it a little bit too bitter for me um james where are we <laughs> um <laughs> I'm gonna vlog this way around because I think my policy will be a bit better. But um, yeah, we're heading down to the marina. We've just crossed a little train track behind us and seeing what's here. But Hoffs Harbour is beautiful. Where we were yesterday, Flynn Beach as well, was absolutely stunning. So I think we've hit the part of the road trip now where it's all just like really beachy, really beautiful. Cannot wait to get to Byron Bay. I think it's gonna be amazing. But likewise with the Gold Coast, I just can't wait. And we're doing Brisbane, we're doing Koala Sanctuary, loads of things. 
so this vlog is going to be jam-packed full but we did get told yesterday by one of you actually there's an app called camper mate which i'll leave link i'll basically leave all my tips and tricks down below but if you have questions obviously let me know as well and i'll tell you what we've found out along the way but apparently camper mate is a really good site for finding like campsites wild camping spots beauty spots etc so i'm gonna try and use it when we get back to the caravan in a minute and just see if we can come across like some beauty spots that we can go to for like i don't know just stopping off for um, like on the way up because we keep finding them by accident but it'd be nice to like find some that are just really beautiful that are planned as well so we will see am i even in focus <laughs> is this even recording james yeah okay right we found the marina camera she's remembered but um we're gonna head out now and but we spent the entire morning wondering so we did the whole walk that you guys have seen we stopped off i think it was eric and jen's cafe or something like that but um we stopped off and had an ice cream which was delish they had a couple of vegan flavors which was really good for me because obviously dairy free life love that and then we walked back to along the beach we spent about 45 minutes just sat in the van having a bit of downtime and now we're heading over to the beach so we're staying on park beach we're literally like a two minute walk away so we're just going to walk through and sit there for a couple of hours before the sun goes down because the one thing that is a little bit annoying is the sun goes down at like half five here so the evenings are very very short which is a bit frustrating because we'd love if we could like cook dinner with the windows open and like see the sunset and stuff but when it gets to dinner time we literally have to like button down the hatches and just be locked in because otherwise we get all of the mosquitoes so we did actually buy some mozzie spray today which i think we should spray on like the curtains and stuff as well as us just to kind of keep them away from the van as well as keeping them away from us i have not been bitten yet james on the other hand has got what five your poor little legs and you his legs and his bum cheek have some nice little mozzie yeah, bites. My bum cheek. <laughs> his bum cheek's got like a nice juicy bite on it they must have liked your peach james <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, we're gonna head down to the beach. The van is boiling, so I want to get out as quick as possible and go sit in the sun. Our first time properly like sitting in the Australian sun. Ah, oh, I cannot wait. So we're on the beach and um, we picked up, I look so ridiculous right now, but I didn't want to get the sun in my face. Um, we picked up some Smith chili crisps and they're great. Um, and there is seagulls all over the show that just keep getting closer and closer. Speak of the devil. <laughs> Go away! But they're so good. Ah, firm. Also, we're the only people lying on this beach. Like, the whole time we've been here, there's not a single other person. It's just us lying on this beach, and then, like, people keep walking up and down, and there's, like, a few people surfing. Um, but it's quite nice, because we've kind of got the beach to ourselves. It's really nice. I like it. I like it. As you can see from the side of this shot, we're currently making dinner. So we had an eventful ending to our beach trip. We were sat sunbathing and we were both lying like facing one way, obviously with our heads like the top of the towels. And we had a bag of crisps between us and then we had the beach bag, like the tote bag. And as we were eating our crisps, I kid you not, out of nowhere, a crab that looked like this, this is a picture I took on a different beach, but like a crab like this, they're probably like, I mean, they're probably about that big. They're not, they're like teeny, but they're like basically transparent and they scuttle along the sand and you can't really see them. So it just suddenly appeared next to the bag and me and James were like, oh no. So we tried to like move as easily as we could away from this little crab. And then out of nowhere, it just started running forward. <laughs> didn't it like we were being so careful like trying to pick up all our stuff and like be really careful around this crab and it literally just scuttled forward like across the towel but it was going in like all these scatty directions and me and james were literally like trying to avoid getting nipped by this crab like jumping everywhere and then we decided to like walk along the beach so we went over by the water and like walked all the way along and then all the way back 
and we could see all the little holes in the sand and we were like oh cute like there's obviously little animals in there and i nearly like as i stepped forward towards one one was like about to come out not i didn't stand on it but like it was coming out and then it scuttled back in and then i kid you not as we're walking back it was like darting crabs because they would literally just like these teeny little crabs would just scuttle out of nowhere straight into the hole in front of your foot and we were trying to be really careful of like not standing on them but they're basically see-through so the poor little things we were like basically playing like what's the what's the game where you avoid things i don't even know it was like pac-man but with crabs floor is lava, <laughs> floor is lava <laughs> but with crabs um but yeah we came back and we've just been relaxing for the last couple of hours in the caravan um watched a bit of married at first sight because i had to get an aussie sim card so i could carry on working because my sim card i had no signal at all james had a little bit but i had nothing so i got an aussie sim and now it means we can watch tv a little bit so we've been watching some married at first sight we've just made dinner so we've cooked up some chicken sausages I put mine in a wrap with some hummus and avocado and James has put his in some brioche buns um, so he's got like little chicken rolls and we poured a glass of wine with our leftover wine that we bought for like it was like six bucks wasn't it so it came to like three pound twenty or something I basically we bought Lambrini <laughs> cheers <laughs> I actually quite like this wine it's good isn't it and we've realized that um James James like you like van life don't you but you're just not a fan of the height of the van because James stood up, literally is like touching the top of the van, and the boy has hit... Oh, okay, no, he's he's like this. <laughs> he's smaller than the height of the van. So every time a cup <laughs> cupboards and stuff keep being opened and he keeps hitting his head, but then he's also hitting his legs and stuff, and there's one bit, like one corner down here, that we both keep walking into because it's where the like two chairs are if you had four people in here, and we both keep walking into it, and I smacked my thigh so hard a minute ago. But... um he did do a theatrical performance with a cupboard earlier above the oven i left it open by accident and he walked into it and i tried to shut it aggressively and it didn't shut and then you just slapped it shut so hard and i was just i was eating and i literally choked it was so funny but anyway i thought i'd just let you know that we are currently drinking wine on our last night in coffs harbour Tomorrow we are setting off early and we're going to go to Borough Bay. So we're going to, we have to leave here by 10 o'clock. That's like a standard. Normally it's like chicken at two, leave by 10. Um, so we've booked in somewhere for the next two nights and we're going to be heading off nice and early tomorrow morning and we're going to get straight on the road. And I actually downloaded the camper mate thing that I remember I said, like someone had told me about it. We downloaded it and it's come up with a few different points of interest, like between the two because it's like another hour and a half, hour and 40 or something, isn't it? Something like that. So we're going to see maybe stopping off like halfway and just like sightseeing halfway and just like seeing what's there and seeing if we can see a bit more of the East Coast. Um, annoyingly, I've had a few of you message saying you live in like Port Stephens or like other places and we've missed them. But the thing is, we don't really have long enough here to see everything and like we realised staying one night doesn't really give us enough time to like see somewhere because we stayed one night at Flynn Beach um, in Port, Ma Port Macquarie. Is it Port Macquarie? Did I say it right? Port it is, isn't it? Yeah. Um, we stayed one night there and we just didn't feel like we saw enough because we got there, then it was dark, then we went to bed and then we literally had a morning and that was it. So we do wish we'd stayed one more night there and maybe one less night here because we didn't need two nights here. But um, yeah, I mean, these things happen. So it's fine. We've done a lot today and we're gonna have an early morning travel to byron via other places checking at two on the dot and hopefully to be fair we could even leave earlier than 10 we could leave really early and then stop off somewhere mm. we haven't really decided but we're kind of winging this whole trip to be fair right let's eat i'm waffling away we've got a maths episode to watch i watch you as you drive do you know I'm looking? 